Okay, so the MF FMS Rafale 64 millimeter that I had converted to 6S <clears throat> because of initially a chipped uh, impeller for hand launching. Now this one got nailed. As you can see, that's what's left of it. So I ordered this one from Motion RC because it's the only one I could find on their site, 64 millimeter. And obviously it's not the right one. The hole's smaller, it just looks different. But, you know, it might be able to modify it to work, but why bother? I'll just think about it another time <clears throat> because I have another complete power plant or, you know, fan assembly because I ordered a couple more of these for some other 64s and just for general experimenting that I like to tinker around. So, yeah, here's the... Uh, I was going to put that in the same frame, which is right there, but I decided to put it into this fresh fuselage, and then I, since that one I had strip had to strip the ESC out of, you know, or take the motor out to fix or you know change anyway, <clears throat> I just went ahead and pulled the ESC out with it, and I'll put that everything that was in there, the power system, into this one, and uh, so here's how it is for modifying you know it is not a just simple swap out it's a little bit more involved although it's not terrible <clears throat> so anyway you can see I have the uh, the little light I got there <clears throat> I ordered that at the same time I ordered that 64 millimeter impeller for motion RC and that is a light tail light for a they said it was for a free wing 80 or 90 millimeter but it was only like 16 bucks or something like that. So I thought, oh, what the heck, I'll use it on something or for something, you know. So anyway, I got it, and it it basically can be made to fit on there. I mean, it's not perfectly centered, you know. I don't think that's going to be a big deal. I got to trim that one little flange sticking out there so it's not hitting the wind. Um, and then the only bummer about putting the light on is I had to, you probably can't even see, but way back in here, where that duct, you know, diverges. Um, I had to remove some foam to be able to fit this, that light in there. But since the light is kind of like this streamlined extension to the back of the motor, I'm hoping it won't be too detrimental, you know, without having that nice streamlined because it's basically covered by the streamlined part for the most part. There is some, it's hard to kind of get that perfect removing phone down in there but you don't have to put a light in and a lot of people don't uh, one of the things I'm wished I'd maybe thought of before I did all that was uh, you can get them ring tight and maybe a couple of those I think would be the really the way to go because then you don't have to mess with that foam and still have the success but anyway here we are, and uh, let me bring this part of the light better. There we go. Okay, so the old one, you can see the mount right there, these plastic mounts. Um, the new one I wanted to put as far forward as I could get because I needed to be able to fit that light on the back. But the new one, these tabs actually end up in front of the plastic part you can see and I've cut out a little bit of foam in front of those just so these could set down because they, they need to be level with the uh, the top of this plastic bit here because you can see where it indents in where the old one was where it when it's down in there then it's flush so uh, anyway let's see if I can kind of jam this in here and show it to uh, Oh, great. I got the, hold on. Okay, so you can see the motor basically setting in place. It's not fully mounted, screwed in and everything yet. But it's basically setting in there. And uh, I don't know if you can see this, but um, this is that there got melted when I was uh, I was using a uh, soldering iron to trim to melt away that foam down by them and I got it a little too close there but it doesn't matter 
uh, but anyway that's what that's about so yeah it's it's basically in there and the tabs you know I wanted to be flush and if I push down a little you know I can kind of get it to where I had to remove some foam that the other side of this comes in contact with around that circumference kind of the inside diameter of the foam where the where that lies I had to remove some um, that's kind of the biggest pain um, but anyway I got it pretty close if I push down compress it a little these are these tabs are then flush with the plaque with the gray plastic get them flush so I'm gonna come up with a mount too because obviously I can't just screw into bare foam where those tabs are and uh, it's ahead of the existing one so I'm gonna make a adapter out of aluminum I think just because I got the stuff here and I can um, probably eighth inch aluminum I think I might have something thinner but uh, you could you could do the same thing out of probably 3d printed or maybe that's what I'll do or else um, plywood and what I'll do is I'll just make it to where it basically matches the dimension on the top of this plastic the existing one only it goes over and covers the new tab so it'll basically go on top of everything and, and then it'll help squeeze that down and then I can put another screw you know through here into it uh, you know through the aluminum and I'll probably do that first yeah I'll put a little yeah Well, there it is mounted with the adapter plates looks to be lined up good it's kind of hard to say with the more important vertical alignment but uh, it looks pretty damn close so I'm just gonna fly it and see what it do